Namaste. I hope you can hear me. Namaste, everybody. This is a very late, 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 late reading. I'm wearing pink because um, beautiful Athena Presley Monroe Strand. Um, I found out today that that was her favorite color. So, it's actually my pajamas <laughs> that I put on yesterday, okay, and if you notice I have one earring on because I kept, couldn't find the other one, I was going to find a feather earring, uh, and then I realized it was 3 o'clock in the morning, so there's that, okay, anyhow. Um... I don't think you could see my smoke. Can you see my smoke? Okay. All right. So usually I, a lot of times I don't say my prayers uh, in front of you guys um, because a lot of people don't want to wait and they just want the reading, but I needed to tap in. So I'm going to say my prayers in front of you guys because I think everybody needs the prayers. Uh, I know I do. So... Um, I have two candles lit. I have a Palo Santo stick going, even though you can't really see it. I lit this and I will light it again. Okay, so guys, let's get started. And if you don't like to hear prayers, you can always fast forward. I'm protected and favored. I'm protected and favored from all evil by Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, my guides, I'm sorry, God and Jesus and my guides, all divine, keep out any negative or mischievous energy. I'm in a white blanket of sparkles and crystals. I'm protected by the divine. My guardian angels are never leave me. I don't know why this is not showing, but I just really need to show my smoke. I don't know why it just means something to me. Okay. I have like next to no room to work. Okay, I remove all negative energy sent to me. Oh boy. I break all spells and curses done on my name. I cleanse all impurities attached to me in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God is always with me, loving me, forgiving me, helping me. I'm a warrior of God. I work in Jesus' white light of heaven. I am protected at all times. My spirit guides are with me 24-7, 365. The divine protects me in God's white light of love. Archangels come to me when I call them. 
Archangel Michael, I am divinely protected at all times. Nothing negative or dark can come near me or the souls I'm trying to find or the people who are watching me. My home is safe. I am safe. My family is safe. My loved ones are safe and protected by divine. And anybody who watches my videos are safe and protected by God. Protection shield, body, mind, and spirit, in the name of Jesus, please protect me and my family and those I read for in Jesus' name. God, please protect all who watch my videos with the healing white light of your love. God protects me and fights all my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical shall prosper. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. This is for entertainment reasons only. I, this is my opinion. This is what I get from my third eye and from my heart and my soul. I think that's it. Okay, yes. I am open and receptive to receiving any messages. I'm trying to contact any messages from Kaylee, from Madison, Maddie, from Ethan and from or from Zana. I don't have to speak directly to them if it's easier for you to re respond through your spirit guides you may go ahead and do that or if you would like to speak through my spirit guides which are Shanann, Kylie, I'm sorry not Kylie, Tylee, Ryan, JJ, Gannon, Lily, my daughter, Jonathan, or any of my spirit guides, the named and unnamed. Um, I ask that the messages I receive be clear and easy to understand. Please help me see, feel, hear, and know the messages that you have for us only in the white light of Jesus. I ask that this card reading and messages bring blessings to everyone involved. I ask that any cards I use or any tools I use be blessed from the divine. I ask that this read bring blessings and answers as well as good protection for anyone who listens. Amen. Dear God, Jesus, Angels, archangels, and spirit guides, please bless and protect this space. Only allow in messages that are from the higher good. I ask that you ensure only pure and trustworthy answers from the divine. In Jesus' name. And when I'm ready to close, please close everything so that I may be able to sleep without nightmares. Thank you. All right, I'll try to read one closing prayer. Um, I don't know why you can't see it. Okay, hold on a second, guys. They just said light another one up. Don't worry, I have a lot. I have a lot. Now I'm gonna write their names in smoke. Yeah, this is gonna get a little witchy. Okay. Um prayers and incense and Palo Santo up in this biatch. Um, okay, I'm gonna write the names in incense, okay? A first one that I feel I resonate a lot with is Kylie, so I'm going to write her first, but I just have to hold my crystal at the same time, so bear with me. Kaylee. 
conclaves. That was Kaylee. Madison. M. Zana. Ethan. C. So I invite you. I invite you guys to help me with this reading. We are trying to find out, figure out, not only what happened, we think we know what happened. You were murdered. And the tool was a knife. The murder weapon was a knife. So any messages, I'm open and receptive to receiving. And I appreciate you speaking with me and helping us. Please come through the cards. Please come into my mind. I invite you in my mind. Only good spirits. Only good spirits, and nobody else is allowed. And when I ask you to leave, kindly leave me when I ask you to leave. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Angels surround me. Okay, guys. So, um, this doesn't always work easily, so if I take breaks or, you know, like close my eyes. Uh, it just means that I'm uh, trying to focus. And sometimes it means I'm taking a mini nap because it is really late. No, i kidding. It is really late, but I wouldn't take a mini nap. No Jesus juice today. No medicine. Um, why? Because I was trying to be on deck, be Ten fingers, ten toes. Okay, anyhow. So, when I asked Kylie, I'm sorry, Kaylee, Kaylee. Okay, actually, I need, I need a marker, so hold on a second. Sometimes it helps me to write the name, so forgive me. I have it written down in my book. I have a whole bunch of notes. That book is back there, so I just need it on a white piece of paper, so hold on a bit. That's much better for me. That's much better. Okay. That helps me because I'm very visual. Okay, so when I was first asking what happened, I felt like um, even with the last reading or the last readings, Kaylee, Kaylee was most talkative to me. A little bit of Ethan, a little bit of... Zana had a very soft voice, and Madison um, was still like in transition. When I say in transition, I don't know 
100% what that means. Um, I'm still learning too. But um, I think it it just meant she was trying to absorb all the things that happened. Okay, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing that um, Kaylee says that the person that came in to their room She was like, Katrina, I don't really want to see it again. It's horrible. It's upsetting. It took me away from my family. It took me away from my life. But I am at peace because... <laughs> I'm not fully at peace because there's a murderer out there still that's on the streets and they need clink clink. Um, she goes, you know what that means, Katrina. And yes, I do, Kaylee. I do know what that means. And that's what we're trying to do here. So she doesn't want to see it. She doesn't want to see what happened to her. But she's saying that she saw a mask. She saw a, a person like in a black hoodie, uh, black pants. Um, and she goes, at first it was a little bit blurry because, you know, they had been drinking, they had been out, and they were just starting to fall asleep. She goes, it was just in the beginning. Um, she was like, get that straight. It was just in the beginning of falling asleep because remember her last phone call to, to her ex-boyfriend, Jack, between her and Maddie. Um, I have it written down in my notes that is back there, but... She's showing me like a time frame of like 244, 245, 246, 247, 248. Uh, so that's very close to three. Okay, she just showed me everything was done by 3.30. Before 3.30. Okay, so she's not going to... I asked already... I, um, I, I don't know the order, um, but I feel that, and you, you let me know, and Madison, Maddie, you let me know too. <sighs> Did the killer come into your room first? No. She says that he was waiting. Was he in the house already? She doesn't know. She said she, he, she doesn't know. She thought she heard something like a sliding door. She thought she heard a sliding door and thought maybe Ethan or Zana or the other girls went in the kitchen and opened up the door like for air. And she's like, Katrina, but it was the worst thing. My best friend. My best friend was screaming. She went to scream. Okay. So she just, uh, Maddie, I looked at Maddie. Maddie was like, no. So that's my indication. She doesn't want to talk about it or she doesn't want me to see that. But Kay Kaylee wants me to know. <sighs> that it's the same person. The same person, person killed us all, Katrina. The same person killed all four of us. All four. <sighs> okay. 
Thank you for telling me that. And she said, poor Ethan and Zana, they must have heard the commotion in our room, even though it was fast. And he got startled. <sighs> it's just a matter of seconds, because I, I asked her again, I said, who got hurt first? Because that seemed to be like an important question everybody wanted to know, everybody was asking, and I wanted to know too. And she was like, Katrina, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who was first. She said it was within seconds of each other. Maybe a minute, minute, two minutes. And so, is there anything you want to tell me, um, Kaylee, about that you were injured more? We were stabbed more times. She's like sick person. This is a sick, it's a guy, sick guy. And I'm trying to see if it's somebody she knows. Because I, what I've been shown is I know a lot of people are getting Ted Bundy and I am a psychic medium, but I am not God and I could get it wrong. Okay. So disclaimer. You know, if you're not interested in psychic abilities, they are fallible. I never put myself up on a stand saying I am 99.8 correct. I could be 80% uh, correct. I could be 50% correct. I'm just telling you what I hear. And she's telling me and showing me since day one, I see brown eyes. I see a thin person, but strong person, full of rage. But there's a mask all over their face, so just their eyes are showing. And I guess a little bit of a nose, you know, to breathe. It's one of those full masks that you just have the eyes. She recognizes a scent. She recognizes a smell. That's familiar. And I see brown eyes. I know a lot of people see Ted Bundy, uh, blue eyes. I'm just telling you what I get. And then she said, he hears something. It was almost like he got angry <sighs> that that he had to that he he killed Maddie I don't know if he killed her first or killed Maddie but that that was the first their room was first on the docket on his docket then he heard something, and he went outside the door, and he saw Ethan. He killed Ethan, and he killed Zana. Can you show me how he left the house? I think same way he came in. Okay, so when I ask if there's anything else from Kaylee 
or Madison that would help with the investigation to get your killer behind bars. What I hear from Maddie, Maddie is she says somebody that we saw that night, they have more information. In other words, they didn't kill us. They weren't involved in the killings, but they have more information, but they're afraid. Um, and I'm saying, I'm seeing the truck, the food truck, and I'm asking, is it at the food truck? They said both places. They said the food truck and at the bar, the corner, corner bar that they went to. Okay. I, and then Kaylee jumps in and says they have to re-interview all of those people. They have to re-interview all those people. Because everybody was in shock. And everybody was scared that they saw the night before. That they saw at the food truck. That they saw even something that they did during the day. Yeah, there's a big puzzle piece because I, I see the girls holding this big object and it's like a puzzle piece. So that, that's my indication symbolically that that's the big puzzle piece. Um, they went somewhere during the day and of course the phones will give a lot, especially Kaylee. Kaylee was using her phone even when she was at the food truck and Maddie wasn't looking at any phone. She was looking, you know, at the food truck guy, at the people around her. And Kaylee was like this. Or like this. So I was just concentrating on the name. And I just kept saying Madison, 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 Maddie, 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 Maddie May, Maddie May, Maddie May, Maddie May. She said, look at the people. There's a couple of people that didn't want Kaylee to leave and that didn't want me to leave. And I'm saying, but Madison, we, where were you going? Were you going to leave to go somewhere? I thought you still had to go to college. And she said, I was thinking about it. Okay, so I don't even know if I even heard of that. Yeah, so it's like Katrina, that... It was a control thing. Certain people that didn't want me and her to go anywhere. Okay. Anything else, Madison? Maddie May and Kaylee? And uh, you could also jump in at any time. I'm just going to look at um, Ethan... Ethan, Ethan, do you have anything to say to me and Zana or Zana? Zana is very angry. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. She was like, Katrina, I didn't like what I saw. fraternity definitely has to be checked out. The fraternity, anybody who saw Zana and Ethan right before, um, from eight to nine, they were there, but then they went somewhere else. 
because they were at the fraternity. Um, they were at the fraternity. I'm seeing like a uh, curly brown hair, like a little bit of an auburn tinge to it. I, I had seen this hair before. It's like a coarse type of hair. A turtleneck shirt. What is what does this person have to do with anything? Ethan's like check them out. Do you know them from from the fraternity, Ethan? It's like Katrina. The whole thing's a mess, and they're gonna try to bury information, bury um, clues. Okay. Okay, I just heard him say, tell my brother and sister something for me. And I was like, oh, what? You know, in my head, I'm like, oh, you, that you love them or your mom. Tell you, you know, he goes, my brother and sister. Now, does his brother and sister go to the same college? Because he just said, tell them to leave there. I don't want my brother and sister anywhere near there. So I don't know, does his brother and, does Ethan Chapin, he has, uh, he's part of a triplet. Um, so he has a brother, twin, triplet, and a sister. He just says, I don't want them to go there, to that college. Okay. So hopefully they'll find, hear this message. Because I'm sick of the secrets. I'm sick of the lies. Are you with Zana in heaven? He said I was trying to protect her. And my friends. He went out the whole way to see what that noise was. I feel like the dog was 